Welcome to this Flowpaper tutorial, How the Web Page Builder Works. In this tutorial, we are going to go over pages, blocks, columns, and elements in the Web Page Builder. Here we have our publication opened in the Web Page Builder. The publication consists of pages that can be viewed up here. Pages can be rearranged, renamed, and added to your publication so that you can structure your publication exactly how you want it. You can switch between which page you are viewing by selecting it from the list. Now let's take a closer look at how pages are broken down. A page consists of blocks. A block consists of columns. And columns consist of elements like this header. You can add columns to a block so that you can design your layout however you like. You can add blocks by selecting the Blocks button on the left-hand side and then dragging the block that you want to include in your publication. If you want to add new content, you can do that by heading to the Elements section on the left-hand side. You can add any of these options by double-clicking it or dragging it onto your page. What I'm going to do now is add some content from my PDF by heading to the Import button on the left-hand side of the screen. I'm going to change the background of this first block so that it uses the background from the PDF instead. So first, I will select the block, then I will select the Use Background button found at the bottom right side of the image. All the elements in your PDF on the left-hand side can be brought into your publication by double-clicking or dragging them across to the right-hand side. You can extract part of a page or a full page. Images are normally highlighted as blue, and selections that you have created for extracting are normally highlighted red. On the right-hand side is where you can change the styling for your elements. First, make sure you have your block selected, and then you can add effects like the parallax scroll effect, which adds some nice movement to your publication. The menu will change based on what you have selected. If I have this first column selected, I can do things like changing the vertical alignment to start if I want the text to appear at the beginning of the page. The same thing goes for elements. If I select the header, I can change the font or size. Once you are happy with your publication, you can test it for different devices by selecting the device emulator from the bottom of the screen. You can see how your publication will look in the browser by selecting Publish and Cloud Host it. When your publication is ready, select View in the Browser. Thank you for watching this Flowpaper tutorial, How the Web Page Builder Works. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online.